Channel Island. Family Dental Office. Hello to all you oral health lovers and welcome to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about a fascinating topic, dental inlays and onlays. We will discover the best option to treat teeth damaged by cavities or extensive injuries. So get ready to smile because dental health is about to get entertaining. Fortunately, we have two amazing options, inlays and onlays. What do you think will be the best alternative? Let's find out. Before making a decision, it is important to understand what dental inlays are. Both inlays and onlays are restorations used to treat teeth affected by caries, but each has distinctive characteristics. Let's see what makes them special. Let's start with inlays. These little wonders are custom-made in a dental laboratory for materials such as ceramic, composite, or porcelain. They are ideal for restoring teeth affected by caries that can no longer be treated with a simple filling. The placement of an inlay requires two sessions with the dentist. In the first session, cavities and dental damage are removed. An impression of the affected tooth is then taken to fabricate the custom inlay. Meanwhile, a temporary inlay is placed. In the second session, the dentist removes the temporary inlay and places the permanent one. The fit is checked and any necessary corrections are made. And voila, the tooth looks its best version again. Look how wonderful we have here. Now let's shift our focus to onlays. Onlays are the perfect option when we need to treat more extensive dental damage. Being a little more extensive than inlays, they are used when the decay or injury affects a larger portion of the tooth, including the cusps. Like inlays, they are custom made in a dental laboratory using materials such as ceramic, porcelain, or composite. The process of placing an onlay also requires two visits to the dentist. During the first consultation, the caries and the affected dental tissue are removed. An accurate impression of the tooth is then taken to fabricate the custom inlay. Meanwhile, a temporary inlay is placed to protect the tooth. The key difference between inlays and onlays lies in the restorative area. While an inlay is placed inside the tooth, an onlay covers and restores the damaged cusps, that is, the outer part. Now that we know the differences between inlays and onlays, let's talk about the advantages and disadvantages of each. Inlays offer natural aesthetics, preserve dental tissue, and are easy to maintain. In addition, they are resistant to stains and durable. However, the placement process can be longer, require the removal of more healthy tooth tissue, and often cost more. On the other hand, onlays are highly durable and allow treatment of more extensive dental damage. They also preserve a greater amount of healthy dental tissue. However, their cost tends to be higher, and the procedure requires two visits to the dentist's office. Now, let's talk about preparing for the procedure and aftercare. Before performing an inlay or onlay, it is essential to make an assessment of the condition of the affected tooth and determine which is the best option. Once the treatment has been decided, the tooth is prepared, removing the decay and any damaged dental tissue. Dental impressions are then taken with molding materials to fabricate the custom inlay. During the process, a temporary inlay is placed to protect the tooth while the final inlay is fabricated in the dental laboratory. Once the permanent inlay is ready, the temporary one is removed, and the permanent one is placed on a second visit to the dentist. During this stage, the fit is checked and any necessary adjustments are made. And done! Now you have a restored and functional smile. However, remember that post-procedure care is crucial to maintaining your dental health. After receiving an inlay or onlay, it is important to follow some care guidelines to ensure its durability and good condition. Maintain good oral hygiene by brushing your teeth at least twice a day and flossing regularly. This will help you keep the inlay and your teeth in top condition. 
In addition, I recommend reducing the consumption of sugary foods and avoiding acidic or sticky foods that can damage the scale. Take care of your smile like a treasure. Lastly, don't forget to schedule regular checkups with your dentist. That's all for today. We hope this video has been useful to better understand the today's topic.